it's like I'm not sure yet how to really process this movie. It's undoubtedly bad. Yet there's something so charming about it. Hello everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This is a review of the movie Founders Day, written by Eric and Carson Bloomquist, directed by Eric Bloomquist, who also stars in the movie. This movie is about a small town, don't really recall if it is a, the location of the town. It looked like a place that would be like in Maine or East Coast for the most part, up north. And it is celebrating Founders Day during this time. There's also an election happening and somebody is on the loose taking people's lives, you know, dressed up in a old founder's mask and a gavel as a weapon. I think this movie should be seen as a comedy. I believe it is a comedy at its core, but Bloomquist fails to establish the tone at the beginning of the movie. Or more so, a tone is set, but not that this is a comedy. More so, this is a low budget, likely pretty bad acted horror movie with a pretty weak story. But over an hour in, I start noting or noticing that a lot of the scenes have quite a few jokes in them or the characters are caricatures of who they could be and it felt that either the actors playing these characters knew the script was really bad and just didn't take it serious or they recognized it as a comedy in a sense. Some of the scenes were even comedic like the shots themselves with the bad green screen and just the overacting of some of the characters. Bloomquist probably told the actors that this is not to be taken seriously and this is just a joke, and then maybe told some of the actors, some of the leads, the lead in particular, that to take this as serious as possible. And maybe that's kind of what ruined this in a bit because again, it's, it's hard to take it serious and I'm not sure how to really take this movie. Still, I was very entertained. I laughed a lot. I thought it was fun. I thought, it's, I think it's worth watching again. We even have a few actors that are known for being in more so comedic projects or more family friendly projects. So that kind of adds to my theory that this was meant or to be or written as a comedy horror film and just the introduction was poorly executed. And I think if you see it as a comedy horror you may appreciate it a little more than just as a bad movie but if you love bad horror movies such as myself you'll also enjoy it the gavel being a weapon or at least in the trailer seeming like that's the eye that's the weapon that's being used primarily is a tease and it's a bit lazy how this is done there's a lot more stabbing than actual hammering there's a knife that is part of the gavel so it's kind of lazy i would have much rather seen this killer going around beating people's heads in, but instead you just get a lot of stabby stabby and it was not cool stabbing either. So the kills are underwhelming, the acting is not good, and there are a couple characters that I feel were in an entirely different movie or more so they were in a show, a comedic show about someone running for mayor, Bloomquist being one of those characters and the person that he's working for. But again, I still enjoyed the movie and Naomi Grace looks just like Kim Fields. I mean, what look? I I don't know. Go go check this look or watch the movie. This is a fun movie to watch, especially in January when there aren't many releases out or at least anything really worth paying a movie ticket price for. If you are, you know, feeling like up for a matinee, this is one of those movies I'd say check out. You'll have fun. It's entertainingly bad. Until next time, y'all take care of each other. Make sure you check up on one another. Make sure you check up on yourself. And remember, potential has no limit.